If you're working on message centric architectures or event driven architectures, and if you want a framework which needs to be integrated to build an enterprise application inside a Spring framework, then Spring integration is our best suit. Let's see where does Spring integration fit in and how we can design a Spring integration application inside a Spring Boot app. Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss any update from Tech Primers. The different data sources which we deal with are like example file systems or messaging queues or messaging channels or either a database or even a FTP server or SFTP server or a object store. Right. So these are different data stores where we collect data and we persist data as well. So in order to connect to these data stores, let's say we are designing an application and if you want to connect an application to these data stores then what do we do we create adapters right so if let's say we want to connect to a file data store so we have file adapter so if you connect to a messaging data store so we will be creating messaging adapters same way with every type of integration pattern we create an adapter what if all these adapters are available out of the box so that is what spring integration is all about so spring integration gives us different adapters which can be in integrated into a spring based application using the spring framework and it suits well for the spring boot applications because spring boot comes in its own tomcat and with spring integration you can just easily create event driven architectures and message centric architectures so in this video what we are going to do is we are going to use a file adapter i'll show you by using a file adapter what we are going to do is we will be reading files from a particular directory and then doing some transformation on the content and then we will be pushing that to a different folder so that is what we will try as an initial start so the first in this first video we will see this particular example let's go ahead and create the application so what i will do is i'll use the file new project option so that we can create a new spring boot application based on of the start.spring.io so usually I used to go to the start.spring.io website, but now I'm going to use the feature from the IntelliJ itself where I can create this project out of the box here so that I don't have to download stuff. So I'll create the group ID as com tech primers. The artifact, let's have it as spring integration example one. I'll just give or I'll just say artifact ID, right? So artifact could be this. The project name, I'll make it as spring integration hyphen example hyphen one so this is the first example which we are creating demo project for spring boot and spring any integration the package name i want as com tech primers dot integration now we need to provide the different dependencies which we need to add to the project i'm going to use the spring boot 2.0.5 which is the latest version of spring boot and let's try integrating our integration pattern right so i'll just say integration which is nothing but spring integration i'm going to use the file integration so what we will do is um, i think integration we won't have the file but once we create the project we can add it so i'll be using the spring integration dependency for the spring boot application so it will add a spring boot starter which is specific to the spring integration so that way the spring boot framework knows that spring integration is enabled in this particular application so let's go ahead and create it. I don't want anything else. So I'll just say my project name is spring integration example one. So the project is now open in here. Let's go to the POM XML and see what got added. So we are using spring boot 2.0.5 and we see that there is a dependency called spring boot starter integration. So additionally, what we require is the spring integration for the file adapter. So there are different integration dependencies. We are going to use the spring integration file. So this will be the adapter, which will be useful for getting all the file adapters into the project. So spring boot brings that version by default. So I'm not providing the version there. I'm just going to say, use the version which spring boot provides. And I need spring integration file because I need to integrate file adapters to my project let's go ahead and now create the configurations which are required for the spring integration flow and i'm going to use the java based configuration so let's try creating the name of the class as integration config 
since it is spring boot i'll annotate it with configuration i'm not going to go via the xml route i want to make sure we create java classes and java beans for any configuration inside the spring boot so now let's go and create a bean i'll make it public and this bean is nothing but the integration flow so this is what we create right so we are going to create a spring integration flow so i'm going to name it as integration flow now we need to return a type of integration flow so how do we create integration flows integration flows can be created using a class called integration flows so there is a utility class with which you can create the integration flows like a builder pattern so if you see the builder pattern how we can build upon each of these features so we can do that with the spring integration as well so what we are going to do is we are going to read a file basically right so we are going to use a file reader so what i'll do is i'll create a file reader and provide it here i'll just use the source called file reading message source so this is the adapter which we were talking about which can go and read the file right i'm going to create this file reading message source so i'll just say new file reading message source and where should we read it from we should read the files from a particular directory isn't it so i'll just say source dot set directory and i'll give the directory as source and let's use the source here right there is an exception let's throw the okay so we need to provide the directory source so what i'll do is i'll create a directory called as source directory called as source so this is where all our source files are going to reside isn't it so i'm going to, i'm giving that as well and i'm giving that to the file reading message source so this is another bean because i'm just going to allow spring boot to use it so this is the bean which we created so as a part of the from in the integration folds we are saying that okay i need to read the files from this particular directory called source i'll just rename this guy now once we read the source we need to process it isn't it what we can do is we can do transform i'm going to do some transformation i'll show that in a minute and finally we need to write it back isn't it so in that case we can use the handle option so before the handle comes in let's create the transformation right so i need to read the file and its content and then i need to transform it into something else so for now what i will be getting here in the transformation part is the file name because we are using the file reading message source so we are not reading the file we are just using the directory and getting all the files to be read from that source what i'll do is i'll create a transformer and in the transformer i am going to have a method which is going to return the string uh, i am going to say transform the input for this is nothing but a file name or file path right so once we get the path we need to return something for now i'll just make it as empty what we can do here is using the paths dot get we can directly give the file path because this is the file path which we get now we need to read this as well right so using java 8 i'm just going to use the file dot read all bytes and i'm saying okay read all my files so this will throw a io exception so and we need to convert this into a string isn't it so this is reading all the data from this particular file the file dot read all bytes will read the data from the file and since these are bytes i can just do a new string on this and i'll just assign this to uh, content of the file right 
and for now I am not doing any transformation let's return this content later on we can come back and just do some transformation so that we can identify whether the transformation is working or not now let's get back to the configuration so in the transformer I am saying that use my transformer class I need to auto wire this and I need to provide the method which needs to be called so the method name is called transform right so the method is that the name of the method yes the method name is called transform and the object is now injected here now let's move to the handle part right so once the messages are now transform we need to handle it right so we need a file writer for it so we did a file reader now after transforming we need to write it that's it so we don't need anything else we need a file reader so let's go and create a file reader file writer and it's a handler so we're going to create a file writing message handler and we need to provide the directory in which we need to write this right and we are going to say destination so i'll create the folder called destination so this is where we are going to write the file back so we have the reader we have the writer and in the handler i need to set set expected reply false i don't need any reply from this guy so i'm just going to use this option here so i'll just make this as bean and I'll make this as public. So I have the file writer, I have the file reader as well. But however, there is an error now which shows that okay, you need a file in compatible types, right? So in order to provide a file reader, now we need to read the file. So how often do we need to read the file? So we need to provide a polar here. We can use the polar here, and I'll just say source spec dot polar so this is the method which we are using and there is something called polars polars is a utility inside the spring integration itself which is used to get the fixed delay or any configuration can be provided here so i'm going to say that for every 500 milliseconds you just query this guy right that is what i'm doing here i'll convert this into a lambda So the lambda looks like okay let's rename this guy right so this is the lambda so what we are doing here is using the spring integration flows we are saying that i'll read the file using the file reader and the file reader is here where it reads the files from the directory source and i'm going to read every 500 milliseconds so the polar is going to have a delay of every 500 milliseconds so this is nothing but the polar right nothing else and after the files are read I need to do some transformation the file path is now given to the transformer and inside the transformer we have a transformation method we, let's do some transformation here right okay let's say transformed i'll just add something as transformed right i'll just add the content as transformed so now what i'm doing is i'm doing the transformation in this particular layer and finally we need to write it back to another file so we have a file writer for that and the file writer used here is file writing message handler so these are different utilities created by spring integration these are different classes created by spring integration which can be directly integrated and see that these are utilities which are provided by spring integration in order to create a neat builder kind of pattern here so that's all we don't need to do anything else so we have the file readers we have the file writers and that's it so we don't need any other configuration here so let's try running this project where is our main class so note that we don't have the files there in the source so we are going to test the polar just by adding some file and checking whether these files are transformed and then move to the destination so there is a problem looks like okay so there is a problem with the being here so we have got the builder created i don't know when it got changed but we don't need the builder instead we need the dot get so this will get the integration for because spring boot is not able to identify if you see here there is no error because spring boot did not know that there is a spring integration at all so now it should work let's do the start again so there should be a polar which is just waiting on the source directory so that we can 
add some files yeah that's what i see here let's try creating a file let's try giving a name of the file as uh, let's say input one dot txt and I'll add, I'll add some in so notice that it has got a generic message saying created message source as input file whatever 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 that's it right so now we need to check the destination let's do a sync on this to check whether the destination has got the file yep i see the file yes since initially when we created the file and there was no data it said transform let's try rerunning this at least it should now i'll delete this file again from the destination it should now try creating the file with the content because first time when we created we created a blank file right and it did not get the new file with the content because we updated it on the fly so let's sync it now and i see that now the destination has got the transform data because we had two rows of ASD, right yeah so this is how we can use spring integration so i'll just summarize what we did here so using spring integration you can now read write into different data sources here i'm going to use file data source for both the both the purpose for reading as well as for writing so using spring integration flows there is a spring integration flows using which you can create a builder pattern out of it and say i want to read using a file reader and i have the destination as source mentioned here using the delay of 500 milliseconds we are going to pull the folder and we need to transform this data into a different form right for now since i have a string i am not doing anything fancy i'm just reading the path reading the file content and then i'm just adding a text called transform that's it and finally we are going to use the file writer with the destination folder mentioned here where we are going to write the files that's it and all these are these are the only configurations which we need to add so this is how spring integration can be used inside a spring boot project i hope uh, you're able to get started with the spring integration on what is spring integration and how you can use different data sources you need to under, understand the different file adapters we need to use different file adapters for now we use the spring integration file adapter like that there are different file adapters for amqp jms um, etc so we can integrate those into the integration flows here and then get it done out of the box and you can have different polar so here it is a file reader so i have a polar if you have queues you will it will all be based on events so as always this particular project will be available in the github link in the description below you can go and check out and then you can clone it or play around with it or compare with what you had created based on this particular session as always if you like the video go ahead and like it if you have any queries do mention that in the comment section below see you again in the next video thank you very much